Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So we are gonna make a raw salad today. It's gonna to be super delicious and very nutritious. So we are going to be using cauliflower because cauliflower is that powerhouse, anti-cancer food, you know. Um, so we are going to incorporate that. I'm gonna put cucumber in, I'm gonna to put tomato in. So in my order of my tomatoes, they came like really green, but now they're finally starting to get a little bit red. So this is awesome. Um, I'll be able to use it now. I was a little bit discouraged because I had green bananas and then green tomatoes. I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? I need produce that's actually ripe. But anyway, it's okay. I was just patient. I worked the last couple of days. Now today I'm off and I'm like, ooh, it's red. Awesome. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We are going to make a yummy salad. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to put cilantro in there too. And I'm going to put some lemon. Um, if I had lime, I'd, maybe I'd put lime. Whatever you have, it doesn't really matter, lemon or lime. And then I want to make my own dressing because I do want to add some greens as well. And that way we can make a really big salad and uh, make it really hearty and yeah, because I think with just the cauliflower, it may not be enough, especially if I want leftovers for after and to share. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to just see what lettuce I have in the fridge. I did have some spinach, but I'm going to save that for smoothies. And then I had some mixed greens and just an iceberg lettuce. So how much is iceberg lettuce where you live? I'm just curious because it used to be super cheap, like $1.99 maybe. And now it's gone up to like $5.99 where I am in Toronto. So I'm just curious, how much do you pay for your little iceberg lettuce? Because it isn't big. It's a little guy that I have. Okay, so this is the cauliflower that I can find. It's from Costco and it's organic and they're in individual packages. Um, and so I'm just defrosting this so that I can use it. Um, I find this really handy and delicious. Um, the only thing is, I mean, cost factor, I don't know. Like the way that cauliflower is so expensive and hard to find, maybe this is a cheaper route. It used to be the more expensive route but now I'm just not sure. So anyway, I can't get cauliflower unless it's like this in my area, so that's what I'm using. Okay, so I just have frozen mango and I have a banana in here. It's not the most ripe banana, but I'm gonna throw it in anyway. You guys know my sob story with my green bananas anyway. Um, and then I have some coconut milk that I have frozen. Start to get freezer burned, so I need to start using it. It's like, they're really big, really, really big um, ice cube trays. And they're supposed to be easy to pop out because it has the silicone. They're not bad to get out, but like, I need to let them sit for a little bit because there's just no way that I can get them out. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna put a few of those. I'm gonna make my own like Dole Whip uh, for breakfast. And that's what I'm gonna have. I also am going to put in, which <laughs> it's not gonna look nice like Dole Whip anymore. Um, it won't be like creamy and delicious uh, with the orangey kind of color, orangey yellow. It's going to be like green because I want to put spirulina in it because that's important to me. So I don't really care what it looks like. I'm going to put it in anyway, but it's going to taste like Dole Whip. So that's all that matters. So I took the other ones out and then I'm just going to zip lock them and put them back into the freezer. Um, you just have to let them sit out for a bit and then you can just push them on the silicone bottom part. Um, that little part on the bottom and then you just pop it right out. I like these because if I want to freeze up milk this is just the best way and that way I have a really good portion and it's going to make my smoothie or my smoothie bowl really creamy if I want that extra little bit of nutrition and I feel like I need it for this morning. It's going to be a really long morning. Um, I have to take my mom to uh, some heart appointments and so yeah that's what I'm gonna do that way I am fueled and ready and that's part of the reason why I'm putting the spirulina into it as well just to fuel myself and I'm off spirulina that I'm gonna be putting in I'm putting in um, maybe just a teaspoon because I'm gonna have some later as well in my detox smoothie so a teaspoon should be fine and yeah I'm gonna put uh, the blender on it's going to be quite noisy because everything's really frozen but I mean, the mango's been sitting for a little bit, so maybe it will kind of uh, blend a little bit easier. I want it as thick as possible, so it could be like a smoothie bowl, but let's see how it works out. Okay, seriously, look how delicious this looks. So yeah, not the, you know, orangey yellow color that Dole Whip usually is, but um, it's got kind of the green tinge because of the spirulina. It tastes amazing, so yummy, and this will fuel me for a little while. What an arm workout. Like, my arm is killing me. 
and I'm trying to make it in a hurry because I have to go pick up my mom. She's in the next city over, but we're not too far from each other, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so delish. I still have a chunk there of my coconut milk, but whatever. Just going to enjoy this. Um, I eat it plain. I don't put any toppings on just because that's going to load it with a lot of extra calories. And I'm just going to bulk up on things later. So I'm just going to enjoy this. Something fresh, nutritious. And I'm getting my fruit in first thing in the morning. And it is 11 o'clock when I'm having this. This is my first meal. Um, it is kind of late, but remember my body's programmed from the hospital um, to eat you know, at later times because of my long shifts. So it's normal for my body reject strawberry that nobody wanted like he's perfectly fine what's the issue um i guess i'm gonna end up eating this guy on the way out as well so yeah here it is delicious okay so if any of you live in florida or go to florida often let me know what southern florida is like because that's what i'm looking into right now just to visit for a couple weeks this year and from a vegan point of view what are the best places to go to and, you know, food places and whatnot. I hear that they have really nice farmer's markets, so that'll be really good. Okay, this is really, really good. It is so, so delicious. Sure. Okay, I need to return this to Pure later because look at the condition of the book that Amazon sent me. Like, are you for real? I've had ones that were actually worse. Um, Medical Medium as well. They're all white covers and then they send these like muddy, dirty books. I don't get it. The second ones that they always send are in perfect condition, but they try to get rid of these, I guess. I don't know. Like these people should not be allowed to send books in this condition. This is ridiculous. And these books are not cheap. So I was really frustrated and now I have to go out of my way as usual to go and send it back and I already have my replacement which is great they sent it to me really fast I'm really happy with that but like why do I have to go through this and go and return it now Amazon like I don't know they need to do something in their warehouse because this is like really unacceptable. So for my yummy raw salad, I'm using a lot of bell pepper. I have a whole bunch that I have to use up, so I decided to use that. I was going to add cucumber, but then I decided to just add extra bell pepper instead. But the salad works really well with diced up cucumber. If you have some on hand, try that out. And if you like celery, you can add that as well. That will add a lot of nutrition and a lot of crunch to it as well. I'm not a huge celery fan unless it's in juice, so I did not opt to put that in. You could put in a nut bag and that would remove any extra water or you can cook it down first if you wanted to but I'm going to keep it just raw. Um, the moisture is going to help with the sauce so I'm not too worried about that. I'm just going to add whatever other veggies I have. I'm going to throw in my tomatoes now. Then I'm going to get my cilantro and add that in. Okay. 
Okay, so you can go ahead and chop up your cilantro. I have a huge bunch here, as you can see, probably around two cups. You can substitute with parsley if you can't find cilantro or you don't like cilantro. Both are very healthy and nutritious and will add a really nice pop of color to your salad. And yeah, so either one will work fine, but I'm just using my cilantro. And then I did also juice half of a lemon and I added that in. It was a large lemon and I poured that over top and then mixed everything through. So this is it. This is the complete salad. Just give it a nice little mix. And I like to serve it on a bed of lettuce, whatever lettuce you have on hand. I had iceberg lettuce, so I cut that up and then put this on top. This is also really good filling for a taco if you wanted to. Delicious. I ate it as a actual meal for lunch and kept it raw, but you could actually have it as a side as well. So as far as the dressing goes, I just kept it really simple and I made a dressing that was going to be for this meal and also will have some extra definitely because it's in a whole mason jar. So I put two dates and I put three quarters of a cup of water, I put onion powder and I also put black pepper and a little bit of salt in there and then I threw it into the blender, all these ingredients and then I just blended it up until it was nice and creamy. Um, I also have two large cloves of garlic and a little bit of tahini, maybe about a quarter cup of tahini, and that way it adds a lot of creaminess, so it's not fat-free because of the tahini, but you're only using a little bit at a time, and again, you are using this in more than one recipe because you really don't need it that much. It's quite flavorful and delicious, so I'm not too worried about the fat content because we're using it in so many different meals and so many servings. Okay, so I am just having leftover the amazing salad. It even smells so good, so good. Um, so I have tomatoes and I have bell peppers. I have iceberg lettuce, cauliflower, which is the star of the show. And then I have cilantro and then I put garlic powder, no, onion powder. Um, and I think that's it. Maybe a little bit of garlic powder, I can't remember. Um, but you don't have to season it like because the sauce already has seasoning. But if you want to extra season it, then yeah, you can go ahead and throw it in this mix when you make it. Uh, this is the sauce. So again, not fat free, but very low in fat. It has the tahini in there, the water, the onion powder. What else is in there? Uh, garlic, lots and lots of garlic, huge cloves of garlic. So I had to just tone it down with a little bit more water. Um, and that is it you can add oh and i put two dates in as well just to sweeten it you can add maple syrup if you don't have dates no big deal most people have maple syrup i hope maybe it's the canadian me everyone has maple syrup maybe not um but anyway yeah so this is the sauce and again this lasts a long long time so it's not fat free but it's low in fat and you just need a little bit and again because i did not strain out my cauliflower from the extra moisture from because it was frozen it's a little bit moist, not like wet, but like it has a little bit of moisture. So I just need a little bit of that sauce and that is it. And it's perfect. So I don't have to overdo it on the sauce, which is good calorie wise, right? So yeah, um, that's what I'm going to have. That way uh, my belly's not super full before I hit the gym and I have some nutrition in me. And then I also have leftover uh, smoothie bowl which I couldn't finish yesterday because I was like running out the door. So I put it in the freezer and that will be a little treat. So if I'm still hungry after this, I might have that. Um, it's just frozen fruit and that's it and spirulina. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, okay, let's get eating so that I can hit the gym. So I like putting it in a mason jar because you can shake it to mix it all up and then it just lasts a lot longer, I feel. So I use a spoon and then I just drizzle it. Like, so good. So you only need a little bit. Depends on how saucy you like things, but honestly, a little bit goes a long way. A tablespoon will be like more than enough. 
um, in this salad. And again, you can add more seasoning if you want to, but I already have the seasoning um, in my dressing and I think that's sufficient, but sometimes I will add it to the actual veggies as well, just a little sprinkling, and that's good. It's really hearty, really delicious. Um, you can have it as a side, but I'm having it as my main uh, for my lunch. And like I said, I'm gonna finish up that smoothie and then I'll be okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. It smells so garlicky. So if you don't like garlic, maybe this is not the best dressing for you. But um, if you do like garlic and you are working on your immune health and keeping you know your immunity in tip top shape and working towards adding those simple and easy things with your diet, then yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with garlic because especially in the winter, we need it. So this is my yummy, yummy salad, super tasty and full of healthy, nutritious ingredients. And of course that cauliflower is such a powerhouse of nutrition too. And he is the highlight of this dish. And of course cilantro for all its health benefits as well. We have a lot of anti-cancer foods in this bowl. We have tomatoes in here as well. So I don't know, you just can't go wrong with implementing these simple foods in your diet. Even if you don't have a history in your family of cancer, it's still good to implement these healthy foods. Um, unfortunately, we're seeing the rise in cancer again. Um, and it's really sad and I'm seeing it firsthand at the hospital. So this stuff is important and it's really easy to put into our diet. So even a little bit here and there. And if you don't like all the ingredients, just put the ones that you do like and focus on that. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care everyone and stay healthy. And of course, as always, health, joy, and positive vibes for all.